Hello, uh, today I'm going to show you how to design a randomized complete block design or RCBD. The package we use for this experiment design is FuelHub. So first of all, you need to install the package FuelHub by using the code install.packages and then you type the name of the package. So you need to remove this. Uh, in this case, I already installed this package, so I don't reinstall it again. After you install the package, you need to use the library code to run uh, the package. I run it. The code to design the RCBD uh, experiment is RCBD. Uh, so if you want to understand about the structure of uh, this code, we run this code. Uh, question mark and then RCBD. We run it. And this is a structure of the code we need to use. T here is a treatment. And reps is a replicate number. L here is the location number. You can go down here to understand. L is a, a number of location. And by default, it is 1. And then here is a plot number. In default, it is 101. And continuous. It is default false. So the continuous is a logical value for plot number, a continuous or not, and the default is false. And then here is the planter. The planter is the option for arrangement, and the default we use a, a serpentine. So we also use this default for our running. And here is the seed. The seed is a way we want to reproduce the design when we rerun the code. For example, if you want to uh, have the same design after every run, you can set the seed number, for example, one, two, three, or any other number you want. And next is a, a location names. And last is the data. Uh, the data here is option for the data frame that have the labels of treatments. Uh, so now we go going to design the experiment that has four treatment. Four treatment is A, B, C, and D. So we need to run this code. After we run this code, we need to run the code RCBD, and I name it RCBD in small letter. But for the code, that is capital letter. The T here is treatment. Yeah, treatment here. And the replicate number is 4, so each treatment has 4 replicates. The number of location we set as the default 1, and plot number we also use the default 101. Location names, that is field A. You can use your location name here. And a seed number, I use uh, 1, 2, 3. You can select another number if you want. Now I run this code. So after we run this code, we can see the design. There are two ways to see the uh, experimental design. The first way we see as a table. Uh, to see as a table, we use the code field book. First, we need to type the name of the design we set here. And then we use the dollar symbol. And then we use the code field book. Now we run this code. As you can see here, and this is the experimental design. The first column is ID. The second column is location or location name. That is field A. And next column is a plot number. You can see here it starts from 101. And the next column is replicate or this one is block. And the last column is treatment. There are four blocks. This is block 1. And next is block 2 and 3, and the last one is 4. So you can see here, for the plot number, in the block 1, is from 101 to 104. And then block 2, from 201 to uh, 204. And then so on for the uh, next two blocks. Uh, regarding the treatment, you can see here, treatment is a label of treatment. Treatment has four treatment, A, B, C, and D. But each treatment have four replicates. So you can see here, 
in each block have all four chessmen, A, B, C, D. It can arrange differently, but uh, it has all chessmen in each block. That's why we call it randomized complete block design. Complete just means each block has all chessmen. Uh, we also can see by graph. If you want to see the design by graph, you need to use the code plot. And you use a plot and then you type RCBD that you already named before. And then you run it. So you can see here that is a randomized commit block design that is 8 multiplied 2. Actually, it has only 4 blocks. The row as a block. But in this case, uh, because it has four replicas in each block, so it automatically divides each block into two rows. Uh, that's why you have the 8 multiplied 2 design. We also can see the 4 multiplied 4 design by using the same code, but we use the number 2 after RCBD. Uh, we run this code and we can see. You can see now, each row is one block. So this block 1, block 2, block 3, and block 4. And each block has 4 chessmen. And normally, uh, this is the one we want to use. When you have this one, you can export that into graph and you can use that for the report. To export this graph, you can use this code. You can use PNG, that is a file type. And then you need to use dev.off. And in this code, you need to have the file name. And here is the location you want to accept the file of the image. And this is the file name. You need to use a PNG. And this is the resolution of the image. And this is the width and the height of the image. And the unit is centimeter. And then you need to use the code plot as CBD at the middle. Now we can run this code. We can go to check this uh, because I save it in downloads. So we go to downloads to check it. So this is a file. I can open it. And here you can see that is all I want to show you today. I hope the video is useful for you. Thank you for watching.